I shall now request Bulbule Hind, the Nightingale of India, to address us. Not in prose, but in poetry. Mr. Chairman, this is All India Radio. the manner of your uh, calling me what? is not constitutional. It is poetic. <laughs> order, order, order. No reflections of the chair, please. It reminds me of Does some it? lines of a Kashmiri poet who said, Bul Bul Ko Gul Mubarak, Gul Ko Chaman Mubarak, Rangin Tabiyat Onko Range Sukhan Mubarak. And today we are steeped in the rainbow colored tints of speech and speeches in praise of my great leader and comrade, Rajendra Prashad. I do not know how even poetic fancy can add yet another tint to the rainbow. So I will be modest, emulating the example of Rajendra Babu himself, and confine myself, as a woman should, to purely domestic issues. Sarojini Naidu was born on the 13th of February, 1879. Her birth centenary is being celebrated all over the country. Called the Nightingale of India, Jawaharlal Nehru once said that her whole life was a poem and a song. She introduced poetry in the freedom struggle, just as Gandhiji had infused moral grandeur into it. In one of her poems, she says of Gandhi, that he was supreme over transient storms of tragic fate. She threw herself into the national struggle with all the fire and zest of her passion. She was an able lieutenant to Gandhi and attended the Round Table Conference in London. She was the leading light at the first Inter-Asian Conference. After independence, she was governor of the United Provinces. India will always remember this great patriot and poetess.